Peapod is an elf from Glimmer Glen. She and the other elves often visit Aunt Linda's elfery under the stairs. She hears Aunt Linda and Rachel planning a princess party. Peapod believes the party is for real princesses. She asks her gather some if they will help her make the party special. They say yes! The party will be held at Aunt Linda's cottage. Gus inspires the party invitations. Dearest princesses from across the land, a party in your honor has been planned. An afternoon tea, special games and sweets. For your royal pleasure, we'll have treats. Princess finery we suggest you wear, sewn with jewels and baubles bright and fair. Your carriage should bring you promptly at one on July 24th. Let's have some fun! The princesses arrive. Queen Linda greets them at the door. The elves peek out the elfery door and are surprised. To see Rachel dressed as a princess. and to see Aunt Linda's nephew, Tad, dressed as a magician. The elves realize the girls are only pretending to be princesses. If the girls are not real princesses, will the elves decide to stay? The elves are interrupted by the girls coming to see the elfery. They quickly blend into the wallpaper. After the girls leave the elfery, the elves talk it over. They will stay and help with the party. Tad's magic act becomes truly magical with Blue Star's assistance. Peapod secretly helps the girls with their Kiss the Frog game. Mistletoe has hidden the pea under a stack of pillows for the princess and the pea game. Jasper makes sure the treasure chests are well hidden for the find the queen's treasure game. Time for tea! Starshine has made the strawberry punch and muffins extra delicious. The girls ask if they may go in the elfery one more time before saying goodbye. As soon as the girls have left, the elves celebrate the fun by throwing their hats in the air. All except Thimble, who tips just one corner of his and gives a slight nod. <laughs>